it, it, it's definitely in the realm of 50-50, right? Where, uh, I don't know, it just sucks for everybody. Yo, good shit screen. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of does suck for everybody, right? Uh, where, where, like, Puff has to sort of respect rules that, and doesn't really get to play her standard game. She has to play, like, I don't know, she just really has to respect Marth. It's not that she, like, doesn't get to do anything. She can't shield. Uh, Shieldbreaker uh, is particularly potent. But um, Makari really has to, he's more, he's best at the Fox matchup, right? Like most Marths around right. his level. Um, and so playing someone like Squibble, uh, y you know, it's really a common challenge that we see in New England where it's like some people just cannot How do, do you it. deal with Squibble? Yeah, uh, and, and Squibble has, he, he's just as aggressive as, as Makari, right? He, like, you know, also best at the Fox matchup. But, right. uh, but the thing is, like, I'd say he benefits from the level of play. Right, where, where you know familiarity with Marth is uh, a lot more common than familiarity with Puff. Right. right. Anyway, yo, shout out to the real Zoso, um, <laughs> but not not a uh, not the fraud Zoso. Um, but uh, the the one thing that I really like, uh, Makari is showing that he does know oh. the matchup and he's familiar enough with it. There was one spot at the very beginning where uh, they were in a little skirmish and he looked like he wanted to go up and grab a squibble ducked. And that's a super easy rest setup for uh, Mark to miss a grab over a ducking uh, puff. Nice tipper. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Makari just stood there, waited, dashed out of the way. So he know he knows what to look for. That that was that uh, the critical. I called that the critical hit, right? When like <laughs> you, you kind of get like just what you need. It, like you know, if it's like a an on stage punish on a double jump, right? Like or or for instance, a random tipper. That that or like a, a random shine spike with a uh, yo. Shout out to Crush. Um, but uh, Squibble got got a good 70% lead right now. I'm liking pretty much everything he's throwing out. Uh, that was a clean stock. He, he's um, really good at, at matchups like, I think one of his best matchups is Falcon, right? Where like, he wants to be able to play a certain amount of aggressive. Uh, yeah, Makari normally a, a bit more of a shield breaker monster. I'd like to see him throw it out a bit more. <laughs> Uh, especially, there's just some situations where he's like landing with like like deep fair, and I feel like like he has nothing to lose by throwing out Shieldbreaker. Because right. It's gonna do seven damage either way. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So Squibble, I feel like he does his best when he gets to play a matchup where it's like he has to work really hard for his first hit, but then he kind of gets to like, you know, uh, it, it, it rewards in uh, dividends when he gets the hit, right? He gets to like kind of keep going. Right. Uh, that's really when he uh, excels, Ooh. I find. But Makari, uh, Ooh, Makari was looking for the dumpster, but that was a really uh -huh. good up air by Squibble. To I get feel like he's there. playing the pace right, right? Just like yeah. waiting, waiting for all the right stuff. But uh, okay, it's like yeah, he needs more out of these like kind of like one hit pokes. He needs to turn it like like you know like I'm saying, Squibble will take that poke and then like just get something out of it. And, and while right. Marth is limited, you know, in his follow ups on Puff, that doesn't mean he can't like go for something risky just. I don't know. His risk will be more rewarded if he gets the first tiny, tiny hit. Right. Um, he's at a percent where this is definitely Mars' most challenging part of these matchups. Uh, aerials will not kill. He has to hit with a ground normal, and that involves air to grounding puff, which is how you lose the matchup. Or <laughs> this happens, and he kills you for no reason. Nice. But he is living. That went well. But well, Squibble uh, will take that damage. Yeah, dude. Uh, he the stock mind. is still definitely. Has the stock lead. I, I find that 40 is sort of the magic number of melee where every punish should work for about 40 and that was definitely what Squibble got right there he has an 80% lead right now which is in this part of the game if they have a stock lead and you have 80% it is virtually unwinnable right. um, uh, by merit of crouch cancel and sort of like the fact that you will need three hits to guarantee a kill Right. Uh, but we see players like Matt or I don't know I suppose like more combo heavy characters very capable of winning pretty much any matchup in two hits for instance one no idea where Matt is. He uh, could be playing. I know he's. I feel like he's still in bracket. That was solid stuff from Squibble, man. I, I yeah. like. I'm scared for my HTC brethren right now. He, uh, <laughs> Makari. I feel like he, he he came correct, but like there were too many little plays where Squibble squeezed a little bit of a lead out of it, right? And right. like like while Makari was still punishing. He didn't maintain his positioning. Like if he got a, a good position, Squibble could just sort of fight his way out of there, and then and then the car is back to square one. Um, Yoshi's just a counter pick. Now, now oh. while I do like that that Makari's gonna get to play distances he's better at, like that, right? Right. Um, I feel like Squibble is still gonna. He might even punish harder with the hit. Um, yeah. Well, like that that last stock where Squibble ended up suiciding, that would have been a kill 
on Yoshi. For sure, for sure. Whereas, okay, uh, I like the Kari aggressive, aggressive edge guard. That's definitely the quality I'm talking about. Right. Okay, and, good recovery. This is too risky. Oh, yeah. I think he got put in um, a special state there uh, with 18 frames of uncancelable. Yes. Right, from, from so, being so I hit, think it, hit while you're shielding off uh, the platform. Yeah, backwards. Yeah. Backwards. And so... Uh, there's a name for that. Uh, BVB knows all about that. <laughs> BVB. Uh, Big Vegeta Blunts. Big Vegeta Blunts. Uh, yeah, of course, he's done a lot of work with... Uh, oh, oh wow. what a tech good, chase. Good Clean stuff. I don't know how he can kill. Nice! <laughs> that was sick. So, uh, one thing to note, uh, whenever you're playing Yoshi's, uh, and this number is totally made up, but I think it's pretty fair, anybody, uh, when Randall is in play, 80% of the time will try to we'll, recover, we'll the Randall. The, recover the Randall. We'll opt to recover the Even when, you know, the, the ledge will still grant you the, the tools of invincibility uh, and, right. you know, options. Just the uh, gimmick and the apparent safeness of it is very appealing. Uh -huh. But it's actually really easy to edge guard once you know someone's doing that. Always just go out and smack them with some sort of move. Yeah, Ooh, just, nice just land on Randall, dude. Like, you know, at <laughs> least uh, dissuade them from doing it. Yeah, that was a good nair, but uh, it only got one hit. Uh, Makari did get the kill there. That was nice. Um, Makari opting to one of his favorite. Oh, what a punish, dude. That was ridiculous. Wow, dude. Oh, man. Makari had to get big damage, so he went for uh, Spike Downer into the ground, but um, it just went too well for a scribble. Oh, nice. what wow. A punish. And there it is. Makari holding that deeply. Very uh, but I it was good, you know. Yeah. Scribble is a super strong player. Dude, I'm, that was just on point. Any, right? Anytime I see someone keep it at least close with him, that's that's good enough for me. That's yeah, very he's definitely the player who um, we've seen.